from Hollywood. Come on now. It's the Tom Likas Show. Man, I want to conversate with Tom. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Let me give you a disclaimer this hour up front. Subject to this story is a friend of mine. Somebody I've known for a few years. I just saw him recently, as a matter of fact. Partied with him. And uh, he's been a guest on this show, too. So uh, before I tell you what my opinion is about this story, let me just tell you, this guy is somebody I know and like. Regardless of what his public persona is. And uh, only someone who has a radio program would understand about a public persona. And a private persona. But uh, here is the story. I'm reading the version from the Canadian Press, a national newspaper in Canada. Dateline, Calgary, Alberta. Sean Avery is in hot water again. The Dallas Stars super pest was suspended indefinitely by the NHL on Tuesday. For conduct, quote, detrimental to the league or game of hockey. The league imposed the ban following what it called inappropriate public comments not pertaining to the game made by Avery earlier Tuesday. The NHL did not elaborate on the remarks, but Avery in Calgary for a game Tuesday night, turned heads by seeking out a camera and making comments, apparently, about Flames defenseman Dion Phaneuf's private life. Now, here is what Avery is quoted to say. He said, I'm really happy to be back in Calgary. I love Canada. I just want to comment on how it's become a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. (laughs) He said, I don't know what that's about, but enjoy the game tonight. Now, why did he say that? Well, Fanouf is dating Canadian actress Alicia Cuthbert, who once went out with Avery. I know her, too. Says here the ban, which may have saved Avery from some on ice. By the way, another ex of Avery is Rachel Hunter, who is involved with Jarrett Stoll of the Los Angeles Kings. The press seems to have uh, overlooked that. Says here the ban, which may have saved Avery from some on ice retribution from the hard nosed Fanoof is indefinite, pending a hearing with Commissioner Gary Bettman. Now, the owner of the uh, the, uh, stars, uh, Tom Hicks, released a statement. Now, you listeners in Dallas know who Tom Hicks is. He said he fully agreed with the league's decision. Here's what Tom Hicks said. Had the league not have suspended him, the Dallas Stars would have. This organization will not tolerate such behavior, especially from a member of our hockey team. We hold our team to a higher standard and will continue to do so. Mr. Hicks, of course, who has shown his flair with the sports business with the the fine Texas Rangers baseball team. How are they doing these days? Is he the one who signed Alex Rodriguez to that big contract? Yeah. Oh, Yes. Yes, he is. Anyway, uh, before I read any more of this story to you, let me ask the following questions here. Number one, and again, I've given you my bias in this, okay? I, I know Sean Avery, and I've known him for several years. He's been on this program more than once. And I really like him as a person, and I really like him as a hockey player. He once played for the Los Angeles Kings. If uh, you're a hockey fan, you may recall that. Anyway, uh, Tom Hicks saying that uh, 
We hold our team to a higher standard and will continue to do so. They will not tolerate such behavior. What behavior is he objecting to exactly? Commenting on another player's personal life? Referring to women as sloppy seconds? What exactly did Sean Avery do that was so terrible? Now, we talked this week about Plaxico Burris of the New York Giants with an unlicensed handgun shooting himself. Now, that's some pretty serious stuff. Sean Avery makes this comment, and it is such a big deal. Uh, Can anybody tell me what the problem is? Let me read the comment again from Sean Avery. He said, I'm really happy to be back in Canada. I'm sorry, back in Calgary. I love Canada. I just want to comment on how it's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. I don't know what that's about, but enjoy the game tonight. (laughs) Sean Avery is known as an agitator. As someone who gets the players on the other team all riled up, and they frequently take stupid penalties, which frequently is to the benefit of the team he's playing for. That's the game he plays. It's now like the game I play in this job. Okay? It's just the way it is. By the way, uh, this is a very interesting point. ESPN, what kind of pussies are they? ESPN will not use the term sloppy seconds. They just put in parentheses former girlfriends as if they have taken this offensive phrase and uh, cleaned it up. Sloppy seconds. Is is that a vulgar phrase? Is that an offensive phrase? I mean, what exactly did Sean Avery do here that was offensive? And when Tom Hicks, the owner of the Dallas Stars hockey team, says, and I'm reading right from his quote here, that the organization will not tolerate such behavior, especially from a member of our hockey team. By the way, they've got players on that team, the Dallas Stars, and many other hockey teams, who get on the ice with the sole intention of punching other players in the head. That kind of tough behavior is not only tolerated, it's encouraged. But using the phrase sloppy seconds to describe ex-girlfriends... That that will not be tolerated. I don't get it. We hold our team to a higher standard. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Just amazing. Now, the story goes on to say the team probably, and I agree with this too, the team probably should have known what it was getting when it signed Avery to a $15.5 $15.5 million four-year contract in July. By then, he had already established a reputation of being a talented player who constantly pushes the envelope. The Stars are his third team in as many years and fourth overall. While playing in Detroit, Los Angeles, and New York, he showed an ability to score and get under the skin of opponents, but also frequently found himself in hot water. And the story goes on. The Associated Press, another one, will not print the phrase sloppy seconds. They have censored that phrase, sloppy seconds. Here's the AP version of the quote. I just don't want to comment on how it's become like, I just want to comment on how it's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my, in parentheses, former girlfriends. I mean, is the, is that phrase offensive, sloppy seconds? Is it vulgar? Is, is that worth suspending a play? I don't care what sport it is. It doesn't have to be hockey, baseball, football, basketball. If somebody referred to an ex-girlfriend as sloppy seconds, is that reason enough to suspend them from playing? I've got to know. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. With the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. 
The Tom Likas Show, now heard at L.A. six days a week. Here is this Saturday from 2 until 6 p.m. That's right. Six days a week now. Out of control. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We are talking about uh, the suspension of the hockey player, Sean Avery. Apparently, we're referring to his former girlfriend's as sloppy seconds and the political correctness of ESPN and the Associated Press and other news organizations who don't want to print the phrase sloppy seconds. I mean, come on, is that vulgar? Is that is it that offensive? It's one 800 800 tom Here's Mercedes on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm okay. I don't think that it's vulgar or he should be suspended at all. I mean, they probably were sloppy seconds to begin with. <laughs> so, I mean, if he's done with them and he's, I mean, they were sloppy after that. I don't think that's the wrong term to use for a woman, especially if she's been passed around by the same type of guy over and over. Well, I mean, that's, you know, that's a matter of somebody's opinion. And certainly, uh, if these people object to being called sloppy seconds, that's between them and their attorneys and Sean Avery. But why is that the National Hockey League's business? Why should he be suspended over that? That's outrageous. Right. I mean, I think people don't have a problem with the term gold digger. And if you play, if you date a football player or a basketball player and you move on to the next football player or basketball player or any guy that has money, you're labeled as a gold digger, but people don't have a problem with that term. So why is sloppy seconds wrong? I don't get that. I don't have a problem with it. And frankly, I don't even know if that's the reason for the suspension because the NHL did not say specifically what it was they objected to. They just suspended him. Okay. Now the owner of the Dallas Stars hockey team is commenting on this. And he's saying, well, he expects, uh, you know, a higher standard, but a higher standard exactly in, in terms of what? What is it about that comment? Is it that he commented about another player? That he commented about another player's personal life? Is it that he used the phrase sloppy seconds? I'm not even sure. Right. Outrageous stuff. Here is Nate on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? How are you doing? I'm doing okay, Nate. I, uh... I think, first of all, it, it isn't bad what he said uh, about that woman. I think it's more of an issue of just, you know, with Sean Avery himself, a lot of people think that he's just kind of a, you know, a menace in this league, and they've been looking for ways to kind of push him out, I think, for a while now, and I think they're using that as an excuse. But really, the NHL needs people like this. They need people that push the envelope and say sort of things. They've marketed the sport horribly. Um, yeah, I mean, look, we're talking about hockey right now. And if this didn't happen, odds are we wouldn't be talking about hockey right now. Exactly, exactly. I I don't know. I just think that the NHL needs to do things to get more people interested. And uh, maybe this is going to be one of their ways of doing it. They're going to use it to get more people interested. But Sean Avery is one of those people you need in the sport. He's a great player. You know, He might run his mouth, but the guy goes out on the ice and he performs. So. Well, the New York Rangers uh, had a much better record last year when he played than when he didn't play because of injury or whatever. Yeah, yeah, totally. Hey, well, that's all I got to say, Tom. Can you take me out Kobe style? Here you go, Nate. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. one 800 tom A hockey player, Sean Avery of the Dallas Stars, said the following. He said, I just want to comment on how it's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. I don't know what that's about, but enjoy the game tonight. And um, it was clearly a reference to a player for the Calgary Flames named Dion Phaneuf, who is dating um, uh, Sean Avery's ex-girlfriend, Alicia Cuthbert. Now, uh, the NHL is suspending Sean Avery for this quote, though they haven't been specific about what part of the quote they object to or why they object. I don't get it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Andre on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's up, man? Not much, Andre. Okay, one word, three letters, G-A-Y. <laughs> G- this is- who is G-A-Y? Huh? 
for 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 that decision. I mean, hockey players are tough. I mean, I'm not the biggest hockey fan in the world, but I mean, I always see guys fighting. You know, what I'm saying uh, hockey to me is like football on ice. You're gonna get mad because. He, I mean, it'd be different if he said the guy's name. He didn't say her name. He didn't say his name. So, I mean, come on, that's just kind of ridiculous. Like those dudes, those 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 guys are pretty tough. So, I mean, it might have been the other hockey player. Maybe his feelings were he might have fallen in love with the with the with the little slut or something. Well, yeah, you gotta give you gotta give Sean Avery credit. He made this comment before the game in which Dion Phaneuf was going to be playing against him. So he said it before the game and was willing to go out there on the ice and stand up to it and stand up to the team. Yeah, it was probably just like a little mind trick. And, you know, I'm not mad at him. <laughs> that's what he does. Now, does the phrase sloppy seconds offend you? Not at all. I mean, that's probably the most politest this you could say to a woman. And are I mean, you, are you, do you know that ESPN will not put the phrase sloppy seconds on the screen? That they, they censored it? That's because ESPN also, they, they also have a lot of women working on ESPN and on TV. Oh, that could be the reason. That's and and the Associated Press, same thing. They they censored the phrase sloppy seconds. Yes. You know, it might have it might have offended some of the, um, you know, female commentators who all look sexy, by the way. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> some of them do. I wonder why they did that. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got to tell me what channel they're on, because after Pam Oliver, I can't think of one. <laughs> That's right. Well, hey, I appreciate it, Todd, man. Take me out of bong style, man. Here you go, Andre. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Here comes Jordan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Jordan and hi, Tom. Hi, Jordan. All right, I got a few things to say about Avery. I loved him in Detroit. Uh, it was absolutely awesome when he came to L.A. Uh, huge fan. He was my favorite hockey player. He got an L.A. Kings jersey. It says Avery on the back. Um, it was a shame that we let him go. Uh, he is an awesome hockey player. You watch this guy play hockey. He's got handles. He knows what he's doing with the puck. Um, the fact that he's saying stuff like this, like, who cares? Like, as if you would actually suspend the guy for saying something about another player, like, well, the players in the NHL aren't a bunch of pussies. Oh, sorry. Aren't a bunch you of can, you No, no, no. This is an ESPN. You can say that. <laughs> I just think, I mean, it's uh, they're big guys. You know, they play. Like, let them take it out on the ice. If he's calling out Fanu for, you know, you know, being with his ex-woman, who gives? Like, who cares? Like, why don't you take it out on the ice? You know, hockey's one of the only fights that you can, uh, one of the only sports that you can fight in. Let him go at it. I agree with you. I mean, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, this is kind of the thing that, you know... And by the way, knowing Sean Avery as I do, here's what I think would have happened. Fanouf would have seen him on the ice. Avery would have glared at him. He would have glared back. The other guy would have dropped his gloves and, and tried to start a fight, and Avery would do nothing. And then the referee would have called Fanouf for a penalty for instigating a fight. <laughs> That's how he plays the game. Yeah, right? He's. Yeah, I mean, he's... I mean, just to even see him out there, you know, he's, uh, this is kind of something that the NHL needs. I mean, they've done such a poor job. You know, it was on the Versus Network for a while. Like, that was a little bit ridiculous. It still is. You were, watch you were watching, you know, pro bull riding after the fact. Like, come on. I mean. Are you kidding? No, no, no. No, it's still on Versus. One night after an NHL game, I swear this is true, they had the Kingsford Charcoal Briquette Barbecue Competition. <laughs> is that a oh, sport? Wow. Is that a it's sport? Ridiculous. I mean, this is something that, you know, like, this is kind I of... I could have won that like... one, by the way. What was that? I could have won that one, by the way. Look, if I can win an athletic competition, it's not a sport, okay? Let's just, let's define that right up top. <laughs> yeah, right? I just, I just think that this is something that the NHL needs. It's like, you know, you're getting behind your team. Like, he's talking trash about another person, you know, Calgary Flames, you know, like, let him do his thing, you know? Like, I think it's good for the NHL... Maybe not talking trash about another player, but it's like it gets you behind people, and you know, and then it's like the game is just that more intense. More Let me tell you to something. Because there's other things going on on I the sideline. Had had I heard that quote, I would have gone to my DVR and recorded that game. I've got the NHL package. I would have recorded that game and been sure to watch it tonight. But because they've suspended him, there's no point in watching. So we can even Brett Hall likes him. I mean, what's the big deal? Like he said, you know, Brett Hall says they need some passion on their team. Yeah. You know, I mean, Avery's the passion, and I don't see why you're going to go ahead and 
not suspend him for something that, you know, had nothing to do with hockey. I agree with you, and I thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. Would you suspend a player for referring to his ex-girlfriends as sloppy seconds? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Ask for it by name. Four to five dentists surveyed recommend the Tom Likas show. It's better than a toothache. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. The hockey player, Sean Avery, friend of ours, plays for the Dallas Stars. He's being suspended by the National Hockey League. And uh, here is the quote that he had uh, made into a camera. He said, um, I just want to comment on how it's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. I don't know what that's about, but enjoy the game tonight. That's what he said. Amazing stuff. Wouldn't you have loved to see those two meet on the ice, Dion Phaneuf, who's now dating Alicia Cuthbert, Sean Avery's former girlfriend, and Sean Avery. Calgary and Dallas are playing tonight in Calgary. But Sean Avery will not be in that game because he's been suspended for making that comment. And and who knew that ESPN and the Associated Press are so politically correct? They wouldn't print the phrase sloppy seconds. Are you offended by the phrase sloppy seconds? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, I think it's just a pussification of America. That's what it's about, you know? Right. It's- he didn't say nothing about uh, hockey in general. He just said something out of his life. You know, I could say if he said, you know, hockey's bad or this and that. He didn't say nothing about hockey. What he said it had to do about a sloppy seconds away from the game. Well, by the way, he's a smart guy. I got to tell you because I've known Sean and I've he's been to my home. I've spent time with him. I mean, he didn't mention names of specific people. He didn't mention names of teams. He didn't even say who he was talking about. Right, right. I agree. It had nothing to do with his uh, work or anything for him to be suspended that way. That's all, that's all I have to say, Tom. Thank you, Mike. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, Anna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, my name is Donna. Oh, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the Italian uh, uh, wrote Anna. <laughs> oh, I just want to say one thing. I don't know anything about hockey, but unless you've only been with one person in your life or you've never been with anyone in your life, you are someone's sloppy second. So... What's the big deal? <laughs> I don't see the big deal. Wow. Oh, the way we all look at it is no one is sloppy seconds till I've had my way with them. <laughs> Everybody is somebody else's. Everybody's been pulled out of the recycle. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. So, you have you ever, by the way, by the way, Donna, have you ever, uh-huh. ever the, the, down the block from me, uh, in the Hollywood Hills, somebody has thrown out a vintage television set. I guess in, in advance of DTV coming in February 2009. So there's this TV set. That, now, I'm thinking to myself, wouldn't it be cool to pick that thing up and put it in my house? Go get it. But see, someone else threw it out. There you go. And that's, you know what? That's how life is. Yeah. Everything you pick up was tossed by somebody else. It looks yeah. good to you and somebody else is sick of it. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I, you know, in fact, if you go to my blue bin in front of my house, there's about four women in there right now. Uh, <laughs> hey, can you play some that? homeless? Meow, meow, meow some me, some homeless guy is going to pick one of them out. Well, lucky homeless guy, huh? I know. All right, we'll take you out. Here you go. Thank you. Austin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Hey, yes. Tom. Right. Hey, I just want to say one thing real quick. I am not offended by what this guy has said. And you know what? This is America. I think anybody should be able to say what they want. Well, wait a minute. And wait a minute. He was in Canada, and he is Canadian. 
Oh, well, that makes all the difference then. <laughs> so I don't know about Canada. <laughs> no, no, but it's not Canada that did anything. It's the National Hockey League, whose headquarters are in New York City. Yeah, people get way too butthurt about what people say these days, and it's, it's ridiculous. Way too butthurt. I like that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Sean. Uh, you know, you heard about that uh, store, um, air, airline stewardess that got fired because they found her online journal and they found pictures of her on there? I didn't see that story, but I'm sorry I missed it. Yeah. Um, basically what happened was she got fired because uh, she was making, you know, personal pictures of herself um, and placing them online on her journal. Um, and it was uh, a blog called The Life of an Airline Stewardess. And she didn't mention any airlines. She didn't mention any names. But she got suspended because of, quote-unquote, inappropriate pictures that represented the company poorly. These well, are pictures I, I, hope, I hope she filed a lawsuit because as far as I'm concerned... If she didn't mention the company, if she didn't appear in their uniform, or uh, she, appear... she was in their uniform. Oh, right, well then that's another story. Yeah. But she didn't have her tag on or anything, so it could have been any. No, but if it had uniform. a logo or it had any indication, I mean, for example, if, if she worked for Southwest Airlines, it, you, you don't have to see the logo to know it's Southwest Airlines. No, no, but it was Delta. Um, but I mean, it's the same thing that's going on here. Well, that, that's you, you, you know you what probably... that would go perfectly with the old slogan: "Delta is ready when you are." Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? She looked pretty ready on, on the photos. But, but she uh, was. You know, it's the whole thing with the NHL is what's going on with what happened with her. They're taking parts of the personal life in order to find a way to, well, crucify him. Now, what, or, do, you, wait, what do you think about the fact that ESPN censored the phrase sloppy seconds? Well, it, it's ESPN. Do we have to say more? How about the Associated Press? Again, yeah, Associated Press, and it's, it's not but like... But this, like, this wasn't exactly the F word. It's not like he no, was it, talking about it, it his wasn't. former F buddies or his former, uh, you know... Exactly. It, it was they, sloppy you know seconds. It, but it's the spinelessness of American media. Well, I said sloppy <laughs> seconds a hundred times or so. Well, hey, I'm going to say it again. God damn it, sloppy seconds. This, but this was free speech radio, right? Oh, don't, don't, don't get me started. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. This is Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, long time, first time. Thank you. I got to say, you know, sloppy seconds, I mean, I've had, I've been called sloppy seconds. I can't see how a female can take offense to that. Look, we've all been sloppy seconds. You know when we're sloppy seconds? When, has, hey, have, have you ever, have, have you ever been dragged to a movie by a chick? Yes. What movie? Um, 27 Dresses. All right, and uh, were there any uh, guys in that movie, like hot-looking guys? Oh uh, yeah, I, I'll say yeah, I say that. Do you remember any names or anything? Else? No, I don't. <laughs> All right, the point is, whatever the guys were in that movie, Twenty Seven Dresses, this is as close as most women want to get to pornography. They get to the movie, <laughs> they okay. get you, they get you to pay, and then they watch a movie like that, and the guy's always well dressed, and he's a uh, you know. Cut, you know, right? Not yeah, exactly. Cut. He's the dream guy and everything. Okay, so she gets to sit there for two hours and watch him. Then, when the lights come up, she looks over at you, and that's as good as she's gonna do. You. Wow, <laughs> your sloppy seconds. Yes, exactly. So honestly, if everyone in America is sloppy seconds, how are they even gonna take offense of it and try to censor it? I agree with you. And in all honesty, does he have any legal ramifications to sue the NHL because he's going to be getting uh, he's getting doc his pay doc? Well, I, I you know I don't know, and I don't know who uh, Sean's attorney is, uh, but uh, I would certainly challenge that. Of course, no, definitely. You know, with the top, thank you very much. I love your show, and if you take me out with a bong rip, that'd be great. Here you go, Anthony. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, yeah, I had a comment. Uh, I just want to say it, 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 this kind of thing seems to be taken away from the game. How um, so? I'm sorry, what did you say? I said how so. Well, I mean, hockey is... It's known to be a tough game. It's also, I think, to, you know, 
very finesse and fast paced. And it's got the game. lowest TV ratings of any major team sport in the United States. Now, what do you think the uh, TV ratings would be if well, Sean Avery were actually playing in the game against Dion Phaneuf, the other player that we think he was referring to? Well, I would love to watch that. I, I'd love to watch, I watch that. Watch you'd myself, love to. But, uh, you'd love to watch it, but because he's been suspended, now you won't be watching it. Yeah, that's true. So, how is it taking away from the game? If it makes more people interested in tuning in, or no, no, buy, you're or me buying all wrong. a ticket, I think that what happened was he shouldn't have been suspended. That's oh. that's part of the game. You, you oh, I see what you're out saying. There and you you talk crap. To the other players, right? And, and you get you get them wild up, and you get into it. I think it's great. Yeah, that's that's the way it's supposed to be. By I, the I way, play yeah, hockey how many times? And, how many times have you seen like there's an upcoming boxing match? These guys don't even look comfortable doing it. You'll see one guy going, "Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock his block off. I'm I'm coming in for the kill." Um, the, the, the upcoming fight this Saturday between Oscar De La Hoya and Manny Pacquiao. They they they're referring to Manny Pacquiao as what are they calling him? The executioner. The executioner. Now, now come on, is he gonna actually kill Oscar De La Hoya? You gonna kill him literally? People say stuff like this all the time. It's saying that somebody dates your sloppy seconds is is so not that. It's so like, <laughs> but in boxing, it's perfectly acceptable and respectable and encouraged by the promoters. Well, I think what he said was great. He's trying to get in inside that guy's head before the game, and that's what you're supposed to do. That's part of the game. I totally agree with you. Tom. 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 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Hockey player Sean Avery of the Dallas Stars has been suspended by the National Hockey League after a quote in which he said the following. I just want to comment on how it's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. I don't know what that's about, but enjoy the game tonight. And tonight, the Dallas Stars are playing the Calgary Flames. and Dion Phaneuf, a defenseman for the Calgary Flames, is dating Sean Avery's ex-girlfriend, Alicia Cuthbert. And now Avery's been suspended indefinitely. But what exactly about that quote uh, is so terrible? Do tell me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello to Richard on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time. Uh, first time. Actually, this is my first time I listen to the show. I love the show. Thank you. Um, but I, you know what? I think I, I may be able to throw a little bit of light into this, I hope. Um, I'm a, a Canadian. I'm a Calgarian. And um, working down here, and I, I think probably what happened was that um, the NHL uh, in Calgary is, is super, it's a super, super conservative, it's a province, um, and they're really trying to keep the game as clean as they can, they market it to kids, um, and maybe there's, there's a lot of that in there, you know? But the, the fact is, and look, I'm a lifelong hockey fan like you probably are. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a this is a, a sport where men go out there and pummel each other. They make each other bloody. Yeah. I said, by the way, I go every night, every night the Los Angeles Kings play. I sit in the first row, right on the glass. You can see me there. I'm sitting there right on the glass. If you turn on the TV, anytime you see the upper right hand corner on your screen, look behind the glass. That's me. <laughs> I'm right there. I think so, it's great. You know, I think it, it just shows the hypocrisy of the NHL. Um, and there's been a number of, of incidents like this over the years, and they've always responded in this kind of, 
they overreact and they, they, they try to, you know, they try to disguise the game for what it is. But it's a professional sport that allows you to fight. It's Stop pretending that hockey <laughs> is some kind of namby-pamby family event like the Ringling Brothers Circus. This is this yeah. is a man's sport played by men. Men who drink and fight and curse and bleed and get stitched up and lose all their teeth. And, 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 and that's what makes it fantastic. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. They, and, and by the way, they have girlfriends and they F the crap out of them. They do. And and I why are we pretending that, that this is the Magic Kingdom? This is stupid. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You, you, they're trying to make something what what isn't. And um, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll get off the air, but I just wanted to say I'm so proud that you said FNUF correct. That is awesome because we've heard that <laughs> in Calgary. I think it was the only Calgarians that know how to say it. Everybody else, it's putting a FNAF. FNAF. It's awesome. And, uh, by by the way, for primarily uh, people in Calgary know that the Flames are the local hockey team. Very few people yeah. even know that much. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. But uh, you know what? Great show. I love it. And I, I just thought I'd throw in my two, my, my two Canadian cents for you. Thank you for that, Richard. Okay, see you later. Thank you. Uh, the two Canadian cents until recently were worth about one and a half American cents. One eight hundred. Now, now, now it's the other way around. Now two Canadian cents are worth about two and a half American cents. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm going to kind of add to the last caller's call. Um, I've, I've kind of I've worked for USA Hockey for many years, and I have never done anything on the professional level as far as the National Hockey League. But uh, I would say that Sean Avery is public enemy number one. And the reason I say that is because the game is not designed for you or me anymore. They're not, it's not designed for the old-time hockey fan. It's designed for, if I were to ask you who the NHL's golden boy was, who would you say it was? Sidney Crosby, Mr. Boring. That's right. Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin. Those are the two guys that the game is being based around. And I have done some off-ice stuff for the NHL before, and I can tell you that this is where the game is going. They are not – they don't want them to fight. That's why Sean Avery got suspended, because he does have a job to do, and he would have got out there and they would have fought, and they don't want that. They're trying to clean up the fight. Well, you know what? They wouldn't have fought. What would have happened, as I said earlier, is Fanouf would have dropped the gloves – and Avery would have skated away, and Fanouf would have taken two minutes for instance getting a fine. Right. Well, you're right, and you're and you're absolutely right, and that is what it would have happened. But if they're trying to they're trying to get rid of this stuff as much as they can. They're trying to get rid of fighting, and you're right, they're not going to. And that's what makes hockey great is that the game polices itself. That these guys take care of themselves and they police themselves, and that's that's what's happening is they're trying to get rid of it and. and you know, it's no wonder that Brett Hall and Sean Avery get along so well because Brett Hall was the same way. He was very outspoken. He talked about the clutching and the grabbing and the game and how he didn't like that, the way it was being played. And they started to finally make some changes. But that's what they're doing is they're trying to get away from these guys. And Sean Avery, is he's a breath of fresh air. He's the last of his kind. And, and it's too bad. It's really too bad. The guy, you know... You know him a lot better than anybody else does, but he's not very big by NHL standards. But you would never know that. The guy plays like he's six foot five. He goes out there. He runs into anything that's in front of he's him. He's not afraid of anyone or anything. Oh, that's right. And he's not afraid of anything. And he'll run over anybody that's in his way, just like, you know, the thing that he did last year with Martin Brodeur waving the stick. I mean, you know, they have to make a penalty for this guy. Why do you got to make a penalty for that? Why can't you just let the guy play hockey? Let them take care of it on the ice like they've been doing for 100 years. I agree with you, of course. I just, you know, it's just ridiculous. And, you know, I, I understand he's Canadian and all that. But what happened to free speech? What happened to being able to say what you say? And the reason why ESPN didn't post it is because they're owned by Disney. What about, what about the Associated Press? I don't know why the Associated Press didn't. I, I, I don't know their story. And by the way, what is the point of censoring it if we can get it from a thousand other sources? Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, it is stupid. Well, they're trying to defend themselves. And what is vulgar? What is vulgar about sloppy seconds? I don't get it. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I'm surprised ESPN even talked about it. It's hockey. Like, when do they ever show hockey on ESPN? If it's not football or basketball, which they show 45 minutes of highlights in an hour show, and they show every camera angle from every side, 
but then they just flash up hockey scores real fast. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Sean Every said sloppy, sec- sloppy seconds or whatever he didn't say. It's ridiculous. You can't even go to ESPN Zone for that. And and that's why hockey's got the lowest ratings. They're they're trying to make the game better for everybody, and that's what they're trying to do. And the game is being built for Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin. And unfortunately, you, me, the last guy that called, and every other diehard hockey fan that's out there is going to suffer. And that's just the way it's going to be, I think. Yep. Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how are you doing, sir? Great. Um, I work for a local sports team here in Southern California, and, you know, these athletes, they they have to sign contracts. And in their contracts, I'm not speaking for, I don't know what his contract is or any or what the contracts are in the, in, in the NHL, but they have to sign contracts um, maintaining a certain level of professionalism, um, both on and off the court. Um, six to eight years ago, you had Allen Iverson from the 76ers there with his, you know, jerseys on and different things like that. And the NBA put a stop to that thing. You're millionaires, you're athletes, you're role models, act like it. I, I don't, I don't think that there's anything wrong with what he said, but there is that level of professionalism that I think the, uh, NHL and other sports- I don't think the NHL is in a position to be commenting on professionalism. When the object of the game is frequently, well, it's to get more goals than the other team. But the way you do it is by being more physically oppressive against the other team, frequently uh, uh, permanently crippling people or making them as bloody as you possibly can. Correct. but I, I, I mean, how, I, how can you then say that the phrase sloppy seconds is unprofessional, but breaking somebody's neck is professional? I, th- I think it's I think it's maintaining that professionalism as a role model. I'm asking how that team. makes you professional. Knocking I mean, somebody I, over the dashboards into the laps of the players on the bench. Right. That's considered I, professional. Well, I, I, I'm not disagreeing with you, Tom. I'm just saying what... I, I think the phrase professionalism is awfully confusing when we're talking about that. Jeff, we're out of time. Thanks a lot. The Tom Likas Show.